Have you ever filmed what you thought would be the perfect take, only to get back to your computer and realize that the audio is bad, like really bad? Could be a really annoying echo, hum from an air conditioner, or the moment you hit record, the neighbor, of course, brings out their leaf blower. But here's the thing, when your audio is distracting, your message gets lost. It doesn't matter how good your content is, if your viewers are annoyed by a background buzz or something distracting happening. They're much more likely to just give up and leave and go and watch someone else's video. And that's one of the biggest factors that can tank your video retention. But the good news is cleaning this stuff up is no longer a complicated process. There's some amazing AI tools that will do this for you literally with the click of a button. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily fix your distracting audio with a few simple tools. So tool number one is Adobe Podcast. This is one that has been around for a little while now, but it's also had a recent upgrade, which is really good. There's both free and paid options here, and you can actually clean up your audio really well, even just on the free option. The biggest thing to note though, is on the free version, you have to upload an audio file. So even if you wanna process a video file, we need to extract the audio file upload and process the audio file on the system here, and then we can bring that audio back in and pair it back up with our video. Versus on the premium plan, you can actually just upload a video directly into there. Now I've got two video files on my desktop that have really bad audio, and we're going to process both of those. I'll quickly play them now, we'll then extract the audio, and then we'll upload that into Adobe Podcast, and we'll have a before and after for those. So here's test clip number one. I got lots of background noise here from the wind, from the surf, and from the traffic down here too. Let's see how this goes. Okay, clip number one, clip number two. It's a quick audio test in this room. There's lots of echoes and air conditioner right here. Not ideal. Okay, so two totally different scenarios. Now to save the audio from here, you can pretty much do this in any editing tool where you just import the video and just export out just the audio piece. But if you are on a Mac, then you can actually do that directly in QuickTime. So we can just choose export as audio and it's gonna just save out the audio part of that video for us. Okay, so we now have our audio files here on the desktop. Let's come back over here to Adobe Podcast and we wanna to go to Tools enhance speech. Now they do have a quick before and after, a quick preview here. Let's have a listen to this. I'm in a conference room with the window open. Okay, so we got some background noise. Sounds like there's an air conditioner, not a great microphone or really far away from the microphone. Let's turn on enhanced speech. And it's pretty echoey in here too. Not the best place to record. Let's turn it back off. Audio, yet with enhanced speech, all of the background noise and echo so you can already see this can be a huge difference to your audio files. To upload your own though, we wanna do it on the side here. You do wanna make sure that you're using the latest version, the V2, this is the latest upgrade here, which is a significant upgrade. We then wanna choose our files. We need to do them one at a time on the free version, but let's choose test one. And then the process for this actually happens really quickly. You see that upload is already done. I mean, yes, it was a short clip, but the enhancing piece, even on a longer clip, I found it to happen really, really quickly. All right, so that first one is done. We can hit play here. Let's turn it off. So again, we're just hearing it without the processing. I got lots of background noise here from the wind. From and let's turn on enhanced speech. From the surf and from the traffic down here too. See how this goes. All right, that's a huge difference. Play it again. We got lots of background noise here from the wind, from, from the surf and from the traffic down. Pretty amazing. Let's do the other file, test two. Okay, that's done. Let's have a listen to that with it off first. Quick audio test in this room. There's lots of echoes and air conditioner right here. Okay, let's turn it on. It's a quick audio test in this room. There's lots of echoes and air conditioner right here. Not ideal. Okay. Again, pretty amazing. Let's hit download on this, save it to the desktop. And then what I'll show you here, I'm just gonna jump over to DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so I've got our two clips here in the timeline with our original audio. I'll now bring in our processed audio, our enhanced audio for test clip one, let's put it underneath it here. And same for test clip two, let's put it underneath. And for right now, I'm gonna play this just with the original audio only, so we won't hear the processed audio. I got lots of background noise here from the wind, from the surf, and from the traffic down here too. Okay, let's jump across to clip number two. Quick audio test in this room. There's lots of echoes and air conditioning. All right, cool. Now let's turn off the original audio. Let's turn on the processed audio. I got lots of background noise here from the wind, from the surf, and from the traffic down. Sounds awesome. Let's go to the next one. It's a quick audio test in this room. There's lots of echoes and air conditioning right here. 
Sound is so much better. Now for this second clip, you'd probably just run with it as it is. For this first clip here, you'd probably still want some background noise. You can see the audio processing has taken it all out. So you'd probably end up with a hybrid of the two where you're not just muting the original, you're just lowering the volume of the original right down so that you're still getting some background noise, but your spoken piece is really, really clear. So probably something like this. Okay, lots of background noise here from the wind, from the surf and from... So we are still getting some natural sound in the background there. So it sounds real, but it's still really, really clear vocally. And again, in terms of pricing, everything I just showed you was on the free plan, but there are some limits in an individual file. It can be 30 minutes maximum duration or up to 500 megabytes with one hour maximum per day. And obviously the other big limitation was that you're only uploading audio files into that versus on the premium plan at $9.99 per month. This is where we can upload videos and it says we can enhance up to four hours of footage a day. If you wanna check out the other AI tools that we are playing with and testing and geeking out on right now, I do have a link in the description to where you can keep updated on all of that stuff. Or you can scan the QR code on screen. The next option, option number two is Descript. This is the tool that I'm probably geeking out on the most right now. I'm actually using Descript to make this video. I'm recording directly into Descript. Our editing is now being done in Descript. And it's even the tool that we're using to upload direct to YouTube as well. But in Descript, they've got some amazing AI tools. One of them is Studio Sound, which will help you remove the background noise and clean up your audio so it sounds like you are recording in a studio environment. Now this will run on your Windows or on your Mac computer if you download and install the software, but you can also run it really, really well just from your web browser as well, which is what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna create a new project. I'm then going to import our video files. So with this one, we can just use the video files. We don't need to worry about processing the audio and just taking the audio piece out. Now in the back end here, this is uploading these clips to our Descript account, but it's also transcribing them too. So we can actually see the words of what's been said here. And we can use that for editing and that's a whole nother video, literally. So many videos on our channel about this. But to be able to process the audio, we just need to select our clips here and we can turn on what they call here studio sound. You see it goes through and it processes the audio here for us. And again, this isn't just background noise removal, this is audio enhancement as well. So very similar to what we had on Adobe Podcast. Let's come back over here now and play this. Lots of background noise here from the wind, from the surf and from the traffic gap here too. See how this goes. Okay, it does sound a little robotic, but it has taken out all the background noise. Again, that's a pretty harsh environment. Let's keep playing for the next one. Quick audio and test in this room, lots of echoes and conditioner right here. Again, sounds pretty good just with the default settings here, but where the power of this is, we're not just limited to have this as one setting. We can actually adjust this. So let's click on our clip here, come over here to layer. Let's come down here to where we have the effect applied here. And you can see we've got a slider. So right now this is at the maximum intensity. We can actually drop this down a little bit. And depending on your setup and how bad or good the audio was to begin with, you can adjust this intensity to dial it in for your specific clip. And I'll probably lower the intensity on the first one here as well. Let's drop that down to, we wanna still keep some of the background in the first one. So let's go maybe 45, somewhere around there, 44. And let's play through them now. Okay, lots of background noise here from the wind, from the surf, and from the traffic. All right, so much better. So we're still getting some of that background ambiance with the traffic and surf and whatever, but the audio now is really, really clear. And we jump across to the next clip. It's a quick audio and test in this room. There's lots of echoes and air conditioner right here. So again, dialing this back a bit, we're getting a little bit of that echo back in here now. So I'd probably make some more tweaks and adjustments to this. And maybe for this clip, we'd boost it up a bit more, maybe around 80. But again, I love that you've got this amount of control in here to get it dialed in for you. Let's play this now. It's a quick audio and test in this room. Lots of echoes and air conditioner right here. So very, very usable, a massive step up from where we started with these clips. So even with this video that I'm recording here now, what you've been listening to does have studio sound applied to it. I mean, the environment that I'm filming here isn't bad, but it's definitely not perfect. There's really no sound treatment and stuff in here. So this is what we're using to kind of take a bit of that echo out and make the audio sound a bit better.
Now, in regards to pricing, there is a few different options here. With the free plan, if you want to jump in and test this out with your clips, it does actually include the studio sound effect here too. But with the limitations here on the free plan being the number of times you can actually use this, it's more of a trial account than a free plan. So this is where you want to jump on either the hobbyist or the creator plan. This is billed annually. If I switch it to monthly, then we can see what that looks like. But again, this is so much more than just the background noise removal. This is a full production tool that we're using for all of our content. And option number three that I want to throw in here as well is that most decent video editing tools now will have some sort of AI audio enhancement, voice enhancement, or background noise removal that should help you improve your audio directly from within your editing software. So if you're already paying for, you already own video editing software that you're actively using, then I would check that out first to see if that's already going to do what you need it to do. So in the case of our project here in DaVinci Resolve, I am on the studio version here, which does have this included. This is just our two raw clips here again. But if I select our clip and come over here to the inspector, over to audio, if we come down, there is a voice isolation effect in here. And it does work pretty well. So let's do a quick again before and after. This is before. The background noise here from the wind, from the surf. Okay, let's go ahead and turn that on. Again, we've got a slider, just how we saw in Descript, where we can adjust the intensity of this. We got lots of background noise here from the wind, from the surf, and... Yeah, that's pretty good. Again, if we want to dial this back a little, so we're getting some of the beach noise in. Let's play this now. We got lots of background noise here from the wind, from the surf, and... Yeah, amazing. Likewise, with the next clip, let's do again, quick before and after. It's a quick audio test in this room. A Terrible echo, and... Voice isolation is now on. Let's play this. It's a quick audio test in this room. There's lots of echoes and air conditioner right here. Again, significant enhancement. Is it perfect? No, but it's really not bad and it is definitely usable at that point. But this is where there really is no one perfect tool. I think DaVinci Resolve did a great job, a really good job actually, for this first clip, and then it did a pretty good job for the second one. So it is gonna come down to your unique scenario, which is why I would suggest that you're trying these different tools, but the two AI tools I've had the best success with are the first two that I showed you, Adobe Podcast and Descript. Given all the different clips that we've thrown at all these different tools, those two keep coming up on top. Now, if you wanna dive deeper into AI video editing and some amazing tools and things that are out there, check out the videos linked on screen. As always, there's a bunch of other links and resources in the description box below to help you even further. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers.